guys happy Wednesday I don't know why I'm starting this vlog in Kentucky drive to line yes guys welcome to the midweek vlog so in my previous vlog I promised you guys that I would come through with a vlog starting in the middle of the week and that would be a preparation vlog for my trip so as you can see from the title i'll be going to Montserrat. i'm just going across the waters nothing too shabby but it's vacation nonetheless and i'm taking you guys with me nonetheless right so today i just came on the road to get some last minute stuff done and i'm going to be getting my test done soon then later i'm going to be doing my nails so yeah currently i'm just getting some food because i'm hungry and then i'm going to come back and talk to you guys a bit later okay it's basically the same thing as the rapid test just swab my nose yeah, swab oh, okay nose. it's basically the same thing uh, except it's just the way it's run oh okay so this, the rapid is just 20 minutes and this is like a whole process mm. you know, oh okay Don't squint, that's fine. Alright, you do a quick turn. And that's it. Finish. Oh, okay, I thought you were gonna do double nostril. Yeah. Okay, guys, so PCR test complete. Just need to wait for my results, but look, my nose hurts like legit, it's burning. And I'm accustomed to doing the, the test because I get rapid tests done at work, but yeah. <sighs> So, ooh, bad lighting. Ooh, better lighting. Ooh, good lighting. Yeah, so I'm almost ready for travel. I'm gonna go get my nails done this afternoon. My nails and my toes at the Secret Garden. And oh, let me tell you about this mobile service. So her name is Dr. Yearwood and she, it's a little more expensive, but she comes to you and then she sends your results to you via WhatsApp or email or however you want it. So you avoid going up to the dreadful hospital nobody wants to go to the hospital right now I, I sure didn't want to go to the hospital so i paid extra to get my covid test done at the comfort of my home but um if you're interested in the information you can always send me a dm on either instagram um, facebook or yeah hey guys so i've had a horrible headache since i got my nose swapped for my test but it's time for my nail appointment, so yeah, I'm headed there now. I took a nap to hope for, hoping that I would feel better, but the headache is still there. But I gotta get my nails done. Don't have any other time to get it done. So we're keeping the ball rolling and we're going to the secret garden. So I'll talk to you guys when I get there. <laughs> Good morning everybody and happy Friday so I'm actually on shift today this is my last working day um, but I'm working from home and I actually have my lash appointment to go to now so that's where I'm headed I took my lunch break in order to do this so she doesn't have a lot of lashes to like fill in because they're still pretty full and I don't really like them too too full but yeah she has a few to replace just so i'm nice and fresh for vacation so yeah let's go to flutter to get my lashes filled hey guys so not only are my lashes done but as you can see my hair is done now my hair appointment was originally supposed to be 5 p.m this afternoon when i pull up to my lash appointment i get a message from my hairdresser she's not feeling well and she has to cancel all her appointments today look i start to fop i real disappointed because i don't have the body else to do my hair and i'm traveling tomorrow so my lash girl starts to call around all kind of people until she finally got me somebody and the person said i had to come immediately after my lash appointment thankfully i got my hair done 
and she plots so fast it's it's super neat it's not as small as I wanted them to be but because she she fit me in today I had to just take what I could get so my hair done nails done lashes done I'm ready for a travel I gotta show you guys my suitcase because my friends say my friends say I'm overdoing it but I think I packed just enough stuff for three weeks yeah so I'm gonna head home now and I'll talk to you guys in a few So I made it through immigration and it wasn't quite as bad as I anticipated. I actually got through really, really fast. I thought my bag would be overweight. It's not even closed. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just sitting here in the departure area waiting for my flight to be called. It's still pretty early, so I'm going to be here for well over probably an hour, I believe. Let me check. It's 3.34 now and my flight is at um 5 p.m i board at um 4 45 so i'm gonna be sitting here for just about an hour so yeah all right guys so i'm in the bathroom i just came in here to basically show you guys what i'm wearing just a simple little crop top and some comfortable black jeans yes simple 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 i'm actually hungry so i think i'm going to go ahead and get something to eat in the departure lounge which is probably gonna cost me arm and a leg, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I went ahead and ordered me some pizza, guys. I'm just waiting to collect it so I can put something in my stomach with a nice bottle of water. This is so boring, traveling alone, sitting in the airport, having to wait for your flight for over an hour. It is boring, oh my God. safely here in Montserrat and I'm at my little quarantine space where I'm gonna be staying for the next I think four days because they claim today is day one of my quarantine I hope that's the case although I just got here and it's nice already but um yeah so this is where I'm gonna be so just a little bit on preparation in case you are looking to travel to Montserrat um, so first thing first I had to fill out a declaration form in which I my cousin sent me the link via whatsapp and I just filled it out online and submitted it and then they sent me back an email 
and then the first email that I got was from immigration to let me know that access is granted into the com the country second email was from the Ministry of Health to let me know that they're okay with my quarantine arrangements um, next thing up I had to get my COVID test done um, I said I spoke about that earlier up in the blog so no need to go into those details um, I got my results on last night actually I was actually flipping because my results were taking so long to come through I was like oh this is last minute but I got my results last night negative of course because I'm here and then and that was basically it now the only thing I had to do was just get myself to the airport going through airport was pretty simple I didn't have any issues present your COVID your negative COVID test and you're good to go got to Monstrat and um, I just needed to present my COVID test my vaccination card and uh, information for where I'm staying for quarantine boom I was good went through the airport it was a breeze I didn't think it was gonna be that easy but it was yeah so listen to me guys just before I end this vlog Monstra Airport Lickle like there is one room where there's immigration customs bags everything everything is in one room so you walk in the door off of the runway you walk out the door <laughs> to the front of the airport I've never in my life have I experienced something like this but of course in life it's good to have every experience so yes on to my next vlog which would be my five day quarantine I hope you guys stick around and are interested to see what I'm up to so yeah thank you so much for watching if there are any other questions you have regarding preparation you can always ask me in the com comment section or you can send me a message on Instagram at naturally Sharika yeah so I will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye.